Hey everyone, welcome back to The Golf House. If you've been here before, if you're new, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I'm Jenny and today we are canning. I am going to be canning up some of the chocolate cherry jam recipe in this book on page 35. Now, I have canned this before several times. It is so good. It's one of the very few ball recipes that I think is perfect. Um, the only addition I make to it is I do put a tiny bit of almond extract in it because that's how we like it. Um, but it is so delicious. Oh my gosh. And I have to can it up when cherries come in season so that we have it for Christmas. I fill cookies with it. We put it on ice cream. I have caught my youngest son eating jars of it with just a spoon. <laughs> it's that good. It tastes like chocolate covered cherries. Oh man. It is excellent. So I'm going to be making this recipe in here. I will not be putting the recipe up on my um, blog because it is not mine. It is a ball recipe. You do need to get this book if you like the recipe. I will not be putting it in the description box below. It's not mine. But you can certainly follow along and write down um, as we go along. You are welcome to do so and I will tell you the amounts as I'm putting them in. This video is brought to you by Pure Mason Jars. I absolutely love my pure mason jars, you all know that, and I'm going to be using my quilted jelly jars for this. In the past, I have used four ounce jars for that chocolate cherry jam, but here in my family, mm -mm, they will wipe out an entire jar at one Sunday dinner, or if you're my youngest son, at one sitting. <laughs> so I am going to be using the half pint jelly jars. And these are quilted and beautiful. I absolutely love them. I know Ball has some quilted ones too, but these seem to be a little bit skinnier, a smidge taller. They hold the same amount. Um, I just, I really love the jar. I will leave their website in the description box below for you. These are available at Ace Hardware, I think Tractor Supply, Farm and Fleet. A few other places are starting to carry them now too. Super exciting. And you can now buy boxes of lids as of June 1st. <laughs> so very exciting stuff. We're going to go ahead and get started on our jam. As always, first thing I do is put my jars in some hot soapy water with white vinegar, let them soak 15 minutes, wash them up, then I will put them in my canner and fill my canner with water. I forgot to add to make sure that you um, check your jars for any chips on the ring, any breaks, any fractures before you put them into the water. I forgot to make sure to tell you that, but uh, I've got my jars in here. I'm going to go ahead and turn my water on and fill it up. Okay, I'm going to bring it over. turn my I'm just going to bring this up to a simmer and keep it on low and I'm going to low simmer it for 20 minutes. That gives us enough time to make the jam. Okay, next thing I have done is put um, cherries in my pan. So when I get home with my cherries, I wash them and pit them and put them in the, the big container so that now they are ready to go and I just keep them uh, in the fridge until I am ready to use them. So now they're ready to go for jams and pie fillings. Gotta love cherry season. I do this now that I've got these nice containers. I can prep much easier. I used to have to get out my big metal bowls. Okay. So they are in my pan and I want to tell you how I chop them. When I pit them, I use gloves. I pit them. I leave them in their hole because my cherry pie filling, I want whole cherries. Um, for the jam, you want them um, chopped up slightly. So I use this as a rated chopper. It is the best thing. Actually, this is mine. I, I bought it here. But when I was growing up, this is all my grandma used um, for all of this kind of stuff. <laughs> so you can get this serrated one or you can get a smooth side one. I'm going to grab a smooth side one too. Uh, my rate of link is in the description box below if you like. Otherwise, I think they sell them at lots of Mennonite and Amish um, stores, things like that. But it makes it easier and 
um, I just chop right in here versus getting them all over my hands because cherries turn your nails and hands black if you've ever done cherries before. <laughs> it stays in your nail bed a long time, at least a week, and it looks terrible. I think the last time I did cherries and I was doing videos for you, my nails looked black. I'm just not trying to, I'm not chopping them off completely, but I, I want to make sure that my whole cherries are at least chopped in half. Because there's a few whole ones just floating around here. I've got one fourth a cup of bottled lemon juice. And I have put three spoons in the freezer to test my scent. The ball recipe calls for six tablespoons of pectin. I'm just gonna use one um, box of pectin. And then I will check my set. And of course I have my um, jar of pectin on the side. Always nice to keep that on the side. If you can get it in bulk, it's even better. There is my, I'm gonna stir my pectin in. I'm gonna turn my heat on also, a medium. Okay, so this, I've got this set at a medium high. I'm gonna bring this to a full rolling boil. So as soon as that happens, I'll be back. Okay, my jam's at a boil. I can't stir down and I've got, I need to take my sugar. It's six up cups of sugar and uh, two thirds cup of cocoa. Um, this was two cups of sugar. I'm gonna add it back in. I'm gonna mix these together. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in. It's not all mixed together perfectly, but that's okay. It will get there. And I need to put in two more cups of sugar that wouldn't fit in there. And I am using pure cane granulated sugar. This smells so good. Oh man. If you haven't tried this one yet, you so have to try it. We need to bring this back up to a boil. And we're going to boil it one more minute and then we're going to check the set. This smells like Christmas. <laughs> I'm just gonna say, you know, when you're standing there making homemade candy, homemade fudge, that's what this smells like. It smells so good. Is that a pit? Could be a cherry pit. Yes, it is. Look at there. I thought one flung into the bowl when I was standing, sitting there pitting them. I heard it hit the metal bowl and I could not find it. <laughs> so I'm glad I found it. Christmas shopping today. There's my timer. Okay, I am going to get out a frozen spoon and I'm going to test the set. Frozen spoon. I don't think we're quite 
I don't think we're quite there yet. So, one more tablespoon of pectin. I'm gonna boil one more minute. Another frozen spoon. I actually think we might need a little bit more. One more tablespoon. One minute. Our timer. Okay, you can see the gelling on the spoon. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off and set up for canning. Oh, one more thing I'm going to do. I'm putting a half a teaspoon of almond extract in. Only a half a teaspoon. I just wanna give it that tiny little undertone. This is not in the recipe and you don't have to do it. But this is how I like it. I've done it with and without and I like it better with the almond flavor. All right, here we go. And uh, jams and jellies only require one quarter inch headspace. So that is what we are doing. If you leave any more than that in your jar, you're gonna wanna use it up quicker. And we are debubbling. Quarter inch is all the way up here, and actually I need even a smidgen more. It almost looks like no headspace when you're leaving a quarter inch headspace. Bam. I mean, it is literally that tiny, so. And I'm just wiping my rims with water. Pure lid, no water. Fingertip tight. Into my canner. Okay, everybody is in the hot tub. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on.
Processing time for this is 10 minutes. I am processing 15 minutes for my altitude. Make sure you adjust your time and add your five minutes accordingly. Time starts when this is at a full rolling boil. There they are, I have just pulled them out of the canner. They are beautiful and it smells so good in here. All right, that is all there is to it. I am excited to have this on my shelf and I'm probably gonna end up canning about two more batches. Um, three to four batches a year is about a year's worth of this jam for us. That's how much we eat this jam. <laughs> All right, folks, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It really helps me out a lot, and I sure do appreciate your support. You can find me on Instagram at JennyGoff18. If you have canning projects, you can hashtag canning with Jenny. You can also tag me at JennyGoff18. I'm also on Facebook, and you can visit my blog for all of my recipes at JennyGoff.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.